In this last video we are going to do some tidying up. We need to fix some nasty side effects of setting up our pages as states of a dynamic panel. We also need to make the scroll interaction we set up in section 6 play nicely with our navigation system. Let's open the menu panel. We already have some cases set up on the onclick event to change the state of the content panel effectively changing the page. We could add actions to each of the buttons to move the panel and hide it. We could add actions to each of the menu buttons to move the menu panel and hide it. But this sort of duplication is always a bad thing because if later on we need to make a change, we have to affect it in numerous places, meaning lots of margin for human error. So often in situations like this, we need to think about where we can place interactions in one tidy location. In this case, all three buttons are doing a similar thing, changing the panel state of the content panel. So we can hang our interactions on there. Let's go back to the viewport panel and select the content panel. We want to do something on panel state change. Let's name this hide menu. First, let's move the menu by 250 pixels. I don't want any animation this time, I just want it to load the new page with the menu hidden. So we want to hide the menu. Don't forget to select the hide radio button. This action defaults to show. OK. Let's demo this to see how it works out. F5. And in the medium view, it's working fine. Let's look at the small view now. Working perfectly. But now let's see what's happening on the large view. Many of the astute among you will notice that somewhere along the way we haven't accounted for the large view. And yes, we will encounter some issues. As you can see, we need to put some logic in to check what view we are in and only fire the show hide actions for the menu in the appropriate views. A quick fix coming up for the static menu in the large view. It's the on panel state change that is causing the issue, so let's open the hide menu case we just created and add a further condition. So to put this condition in simple terms, we only want to move and hide the menu when the adaptive view is not large. So select to test the adaptive view in the first part of the condition. We want where the adaptive view does not equal adaptive view large. So to recap and make sure this makes sense, where the current adaptive view does not equal large we will move and hide the menu panel. OK. Let's see if this works. OK for the large view. Let's test the medium view. OK. And the small. OK. One other aspect we should pick up is the dragging and menu playing nicely together. In the last section we set up the content panel so you could drag through the content. Let's test this now because I know we've forgotten something. As you can see because we are not triggering a page reload and are instead using a dynamic panel state change, the content panel remains halfway down the page where we scroll to when we navigate. What the user expects is to be presented with the top of a fresh new page. There is a simple fix for this one. The default position of the content panel is 0, 050. We want to return the content panel back to this position on panel state change. We open the hide menu case we just created. We'll add to the already existing move action rather than add another move action. 
It's always best to do this rather than duplicate actions unless execution order is an issue. We want to place the content panel back to 0 050. Okay. Let's see if this fixes the issue. F5. Yes, the content panel is placed back at the top of the page. And there we have it, the fundamentals of a responsive site template. Next up, we will look at creating more detailed adaptive content widgets to our prototype. We'll be looking at the new repeater widget. You may want to take what we've just done a little further, perhaps enabling swiping to to close and or clicking on the content to close the menu. Maybe you could think of this as some homework for you. Lastly, here are some links to other useful resources for constructing menus and features for mobile to further extend your skill set.